Hey, what's good? What it is? The name is Lichle, and you are tuned into Backstage Pass. So today's day two of the Soweto Takeover, and we are here to watch something Soweto, Mr. Anganamali, <laughs> take the stage. Let's go inside. Let's go get it. As you see, you right, you ready, you relevant. Duke on fleek, life on fleek. Let's go. <laughs> The show is amazing. It's a special show. It was so beautiful, yeah. so well thought of, and we had such a great time. It met everything that I expected. It was everything that I was expecting. It's because he sang my song. <laughs> His voice, I think his voice and his creativity in all his vocal clarities, you know, not creativity in all his vocal clarities, you know, not everyone starts a song by using vocal clarity, just absolutely just started, but he's so amazing in that matter, that unique voice. He sings different from any people, and the way he sings, it's like I knew him from somewhere. It's the language, it's the words he uses, Skado, you know, all those little the little things that he says that really connects with us. I love his the sound of his music. I think there's something different about it, so I love I just love him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. S for sexy and awesome. <laughs> you know what? Keep keep doing this. Keep on. You know, you're inspiring a lot of children like us. He should carry on doing what he's doing. Like I really love his work. Like I drove all the way from Freyhead on Thursday. Um just for the show. <laughs> Yeah, the set is like a combination of what I did last year and what I'm trying to do this year. Mm -hmm. What I did last year was like an hour set that I took around the country mm -hmm. and I played many venues. This was one of them. Mm -hmm. I started here and I went to Grahamstown, I went to like East London, I did like Cape Town at the end. Okay, so you mentioned um, the Miriam Makeba tribute. Yeah. Why her specifically? I mean, I think she's a great starting point. Mm -hmm. uh, some people might argue she's the she's an ending point mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, she's the greatest she's my greatest uh, inspiration I take a lot of the stuff that I do from her I don't know where she took it from but yeah, yeah that's what I do and I was trying to capture a moment because mm -hmm. she had so many moments she was a singer when she was young she was a singer when she was like middle-aged and then she was a singer when she was really old mm -hmm. so I was trying to capture the earliest time and I'm hoping as I do the material, I'll start to capture all periods of her life. What is special about performing Esoweto to you? Oh yeah, so for me, first of all, I mean, my name is something Soweto yeah. on stage, right? Yeah. So that's one. Number two, we had the best turnout last year. Mm -hmm. we, I, f I played my first sold out show here. So that to me showed me that this is the holy, the, the holy ground. Mm, mm. So this is where I always need to be. This is where I always need to come back. What can we expect from something so it's so 2018? What people can expect really from me is that I need to record like a really dope album. That's number one. I'm currently working on that right now. 
Um, and next is just making the stream tour as exciting as I can. So the other thing that I need to explain about the stream tour is that sometimes I'll play venues like this, like big 400 seaters, a thousand seaters, but sometimes I'll do like a show with like four people in attendance and it's going to be special, you know, it's going to be great. And uh, these are the concepts I'm, I'm, I'm working on, you know, me and the team, we're working on these concepts to get them out. Um, so yeah, this year is basically that. It's, it's a dope ass album and hopefully a more exciting stream tours, so yeah. Right. Thank you. We're excited for your album. We're ready. I'll be the first to purchase. And thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>